to find, in my opinion. And so it was just a matter of calling him and convincing him that, that I had a different approach. And so for me, the expired script made the most sense. I mean, I did obviously a lot of for sale by owners as well, uh, because of course, put themselves in the shoes of a buyer. And I'll say, and it works out great in most cases when I ask, you know, if you don't mind me asking when you bought this home, let's assume I wasn't their agent. When you bought this home, what were one or two questions that you had for your agent before you decided to make it an offer? And, you know, sometimes they'll say, well, you know, is it a good deal or, you know, uh, is it a good neighborhood? But usually they'll say exactly what I want them to say, which is, well, we wanted to know how long it has been on the market. And even if they don't say that, I'll suggest, I'll say, let me ask you, did you ever ask the question, how long was the home on the market? We're doing a little bit differently right now, and I guess it would be timely for the market. And obviously, Gary's been talking a lot about we have to go back and add value to our database. So we've created a couple scripts that are just basically, I guess you would call them value-based scripts. And it's it's not actually, we don't actually even ask for business. You know, these are past clients in Sphere of Influence where we're not even asking for business on these calls. We're calling with something of value, whether it's inviting them to a client event, 